Hi, I thought I'd explain how I do a salting out of scrap soap. This is um, an old fashioned procedure where soap was, uh, kind of how soap was originally made by boiling the soap and then adding salt to cause the boiled soap um, paste to separate out from the excess water um, and float on top and people could get this back out. And I've adapted it to reclaiming um, soap scraps. Some of the uh, materials that you'll need um, for this particular uh, adventure is a scale. Don't, our weights need to be just rough. They don't need to be real, really precise. Um, obviously, need, you need the scrap, so I've got two buckets of scrap here. Um, if you want to remove the super fat, you can use a little extra sodium hydroxide. I'm not going to get into that in this particular tutorial. All we're going to do is just clean up my soap. The other things that you do need are some kind of um, salt, and I don't really care what kind you have. This happens to be kosher salt. You can use canning salt. The other thing you'll need is distilled water. Um, I don't use tap water because when you add uh, tap water to um, soap, it forms soap scum. But in this particular instance where I'm using a lot of soap, um, or processing a lot of soap and using a lot of water, I'm going to make a lot of soap scum. So distilled water avoids that problem, so that's why I'm doing that. So I'm just going to do a really quick rough um, weight. I know that I've got my bucket weight here, but I'm just looking for something rough. So if I kind of remember 1200, that's going to work for me. The next thing I'm going to do is weigh out some distilled water, and I'm going to make it roughly equal to the weight of the scrap or one liter um, pitcher here, so I'm just going to use that as a, as a starting point. All of these numbers are rough. They, they don't have to be accurate, um, they just have to be close. My salt is going to be about a quarter of the weight of the um, soap scraps. I have about 350 grams of salt. Um, so I think that's going to work for a single salting ounce. And the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to use some of my soap shreds. And most of these are, are fairly fine, so I don't, they're not going to take long to uh, dissolve. So I'm just going to put them all in here and kind of check them over and make sure I don't have any really thick chunks in here. And I'm going to um, put my burner on and add a bunch of this water, about two-thirds of it, roughly. Don't have to be super precise. I'm going to start liquefying this. I've got about half of the soap into the um, pot, um, and I about a little more than half of the water. You can see it's really fluid. If um, all of this water will come largely back out of our soap later on, so uh, don't get too fried about this if you're trying it yourself. Um, Use what enough water so that you don't have any amount of burning or sticking to the bottom of the pot. Um, that is really critical. You do not want to burn your soap. So when you're doing this, don't walk away from it. You're looking for a gentle simmer. And I think I'm right about at that point. So I'm bringing my heat down to just above my low setting. Add the last batch of soap in here. In order to get the most effective separation of the soap uh, from the fragrance and the colorants in the soap, uh, we need to have it all really melted and uniform. Well, it's been about a half hour now since I started this whole escapade, and um, I've added about two liters of water to a total of about 1,200, 1,300 grams of soap. Now I'm starting to get what looks like gravy, uh, very consistent. I do have a little bit of... Um, soap uh, on the end of my spatula that's scraping up off the bottom. I don't really like to see that, but um, unfortunately, given the circumstances, it's probably unavoidable.